I'm Julie Bush Bailey, Principal Investigator. Catherine Lowe, Co-Investigator. Lisa Wojnarski, Postdoctoral Research Assistant. So what was Central doing on the Advance Project? This isn't the first time that questions around gender equality have been asked. It isn't the first time that a theatre company has led the way in drawing attention to the many talented and able women in our creative industries. But it is the first time that Tonic Theatre have created a programme that makes a space for theatre, dance and opera companies to come together and talk about the way things work for them and how they might change. We have listened and we have learned alongside our industry partners and with them we have expanded conversations, asked how we can challenge existing structures and just where we want to go from here, to make new histories, new narratives, that tell more than just one story, that celebrate diverse voices and perspectives. We need to understand gender as a spectrum and not a binary. And this means understanding the multiple ways in which people can explore and perform gender, while at the same time addressing gender-based discrimination and sexism at a both conscious and unconscious level. Do we tell stories that we all recognise? Do you see stories that recognise you? What stories do we want to hear? Who do we want to see making them? Who is on stage? Off stage? In the audience? This is one kind of space in which people make work and it engenders a particular type of theatre making. But for us, what we're interested in is what are the different ways in which we can make work? And crucially, what are the ways that we can train people into exploring different ways of making work and exploring different forms of practice? Gender equality means treating each other with respect. Freedom. Equal pay and better pay. A step forward. Opportunity, intersectionality, power and confidence. Not having to apologise for being a woman, to celebrate my uniqueness, my talent and my skills. More opportunity for a wider range of people. We need to understand the multiplicity of experiences of women and people of all gender, while at the same time addressing reductive stereotypes about gender, leadership and power.